Hey everybody, uh, it's a bus. <laughs> it's a bus. It's a bus. It's a b -b bird. Oh, it's um. Uh, it's Sunday morning. I just woke up. Did my well, I just I woke up. Uh, I woke up. I had a shit. Then checked my email, and I had another shit. Now the dog's having a shit. So far, it's a shitty day. No, it's actually you know, it's a good day. It's a good day. Everything's done, you know. Um, it's Sunday morning. Uh, the date. I'm still a little tired. I, you know, I didn't sleep for like 36 hours straight as of yesterday. I'm watching Xiaomi come. These dogs bully her sometimes. So, yeah, um, what am I saying? Yeah, so, this is the morning, first day of my son. And, um, yeah, I don't know. The whole miracle of birth thing really did not impress me. <laughs> it's like, uh, it gets so much hype, you know? You know, greatest day of your life, best day of your life. And you hear that so many times, they say, oh, the greatest, what was the best day of your life? It was the day my son was born. Yeah, no, not for me. <laughs> it was, it was, uh, I'm not going to say it was like one of the worst days, but it was definitely a, a it was a bad day. It was a bad day. That's, that's it. You know, like just disappointments, problems, complications, wife in pain, wife crying. I don't know how that's a great day, you know, because the baby, because the baby comes, it becomes the greatest day. Let me let me let me let you in on a little secret. The baby is supposed to come. Like that's not a miracle. It's not a miracle if it happens every single day a, a billion times, you know, or not a billion, but like every single day a million times. It's not a miracle. That's something that's supposed to happen. And that's kind of how it was for me. It was like, you know, people keep talking about it. Like, it's, you know, you're gonna it's gonna be so amazing when your son comes out. You'll be flooded with emotion and all that. No, no. When they showed me my son, I'm like. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not like, it's not like you go to the hospital and you just sit there waiting for something to come out. You know, maybe it's gonna be a cat, maybe it's gonna be a dog, maybe it's gonna be a horse. You don't know. And I was there. Look, it's a baby. You're like, yes, I got a human baby. That rock. Then you'd be happy. You know, like it's, it's not like it's a gamble. It's not like it's you know you know you're rolling the dice or something. You don't know. It's, it's like we knew we were having a boy. Doctor told us that. Like. <laughs> when he was like three months old, because he was so well hung, it showed up on the sonogram. So when you get to the hospital, it's like, it's a baby boy, and you're like, yeah, I knew that six months ago. Thanks for, you know, it's healthy, yeah, I knew that. We get sonograms every month, of course it's freaking healthy. It's well hung, yeah, I knew that, you know? <laughs> you know, so it's like, I don't know. And then the whole love at first sight thing, you know, I don't buy that, you know, like, Chances are, if you're a parent and you fall in love with your baby at first sight, I don't, well, I, I, I think the, the vast majority do, because that's the way it sounds like. And I think the ones that don't uh, are more intelligent than me and just don't talk about it, you know? But I'm, I'm just more... It's weird, you know, because on, on the one hand, I'm, I'm, I'm a very emotional person. I cry for, like, if you're on YouTube, do a search for the Thailand insurance commercials. Thailand insurance commercial, do a search for that. Every one of those makes me cry, and not in like every time I watch them. So, so if 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 you know some commercial for insurance from a foreign company makes me cry so easily, you'd think the birth of my own son should be all the more emotional. But you know, it wasn't. It was like 36 hours of no sleep, little food, watching my wife cry in pain, and then they show you a baby, and it's like, yeah, okay, it's a baby. You know, it's like, but um. Yeah, so I was just saying, on the one hand, I'm extremely emotional. On the other hand, it was a very unclimatic situation. Um, yeah, and you know, like, if you think about it, some people, they fall in love with their baby at first sight. Well, what would happen if the doctor walked out with someone else's baby and showed it to them and showed it to them, you know? Oh, this is your baby. And then they'd be like, oh, I feel the parental bond already. I love it so much, blah, 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 blah. And then like 15 minutes. Actually, that was the wrong baby. There was a bit of a mix-up. This is your baby. Oh, 
I love this baby so much. I feel the parenting, you know. It's like okay. It's like with uh, my dogs, you know, like uh, Xiaomei. I lo I love Xiaomei so much. Like I really do. I just I'm filled with love for her. And uh, for the first year or two that I owned her, I had no feelings for her. You know, if she'd ran away, I would have been like, eh. You know, like, it takes time for love, for real love to build. It takes time, so. I don't know. I'm not trying to insult any parents, because cause that's really not my intentions. But it kind of seems that, like, love at first sight with a baby is a lot like... Is a lot, a lot like love at first sight with a girl, and, ch and you know, ten, nine times, ninety-nine times out of a hundred, if love at first sight of a girl isn't love, it's that's it's, it's something altogether else. So, but you know, I'm, 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 I don't have any doubt that I'm gonna love my baby ten times more than your average parent. But it's just for me, strong, overwhelming emotions, like strong overwhelming bonds take take time as you'd think they would yeah. anyways <laughs> hope I'm not letting anyone down or disappointing people too much but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna uh, the dogs just had their walk and I, I think they all shit so I'll put them in the car I gotta buy my own breakfast then go to the hospital and help my wife eat because evidently the nurses it's not part of the job requirement so they gave her food but she can't sit up because she had a cesarean and she can't eat it, so I gotta go help her. It seems like it seems like people regurgitate what they what they see in movies, and movies romanticize the hell out of everything, right? So people see movies where people are like, "Oh, he's the most beautiful day of my life," or "Oh, he's the most beautiful baby," and "Oh, blah blah blah," and they're all crying and stuff. First of all, it's not like I'm I'm not an emotional guy, cause I am. I cry very easily for movies and stuff. Like you know, you name a Disney movie. You name any Disney movie, and I'll tell you what part of the movie I cried at. Like, even movies that I don't have a sad part, like Cars and stuff. If it's emotional, like, even if it's, everyone in the movie is very happy, I'll still cry. You know? And, uh, and, and I remember a friend of mine kept saying, like, Oh, you're going to cry when your son's born. You're going to look at your son and... No. <laughs> you know, it's like... It's like... It's like uh, you're expecting something, right? But, like, it's like... When they bring out the baby, it's like... Okay, it's a baby, you know, it looks like the other babies. It's a, like most babies look alike, unless you're like a baby expert, which I'm not. So it's like, okay, you're showing me a baby. Yeah, I get it. It's mine, you know. Yeah, so it's, but I, you know, and then I was starting to wonder, okay, am I abnormal? Are my feelings abnormal? Do, you know, is it abnormal for a parent to not be, you know, like all doing backflips when their kid's born? Like, well, the point is, is like, I knew what to expect. It's not like a fucking, it's not like a surprise, it's not like, you know, it's not like Christmas, where you, you know you're getting a gift, but you don't know what it is, you know, and then Christmas morning you wake up and you open up the gift, and you're like, yes, I got an X, you know, an Xbox, or a PS3, or something, and the kids run around the house screaming with joy, like, that's a surprise, you know, <laughs> a baby pales in comparison to that, you know, a baby, it's like, for nine months, you know you're getting a baby, for nine months. No, I think, you know, I think are really lucky. I think the really, really obese people who get pregnant and don't even notice it, those are the lucky ones. Because, because, you know, they get pregnant, they have, they don't have, it's, it's happened, if, for those of you that don't know, it's happened a few times where you get like an extremely obese person and then they get pregnant and they don't notice for the full nine months, they don't notice that they're pregnant because they're so fat or whatever. Anyways. But yeah, but they're the lucky ones because cause then they're just like walking along one day and then they get a stomach ache and then they go to the hospital and a baby pops out. And now that's a surprise.